Okay, so I had a comment from Shams. Uh, hey, wondering if you could try out Puffin Internet Terminal for the Pi 4 on Raspbian. It's a web browser that claims to be 1200 times faster than Chromium on the Pi. Uh, and he put a link in the description. I've downloaded the image and I'll show how to do that in a minute. Um, but uh, it's basically, you can see that it looks like it's based on either Raspbian or Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, and I'll check that out in a minute. But all you have to do is go through the normal, uh, so hit next. Uh, it came up as USA. Uh, on this, but I've changed it to British and use English language, hit next. So all of this is just standard Raspbian. Uh, there is a black border, so I'll click on that, hit next. And let's connect to my Wi-Fi. And it wants to check for updates, so we'll let it do that. Oh, system is up to date. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so let's restart that. Okay, so that's restarted. I like the background. Uh, they've added a few more things up here, that the temperature is already there. Uh, I think that's CPU usage, is it, this one? It might tell me. I'll right click, yeah, CPU usage monitor, uh, RAM usage. So these bits are, are not normally there on Raspberry Pi OS. So have a look if there's anything else extra in here that I don't recognize. Obviously, there's definitely that. Oh, why is it a demo? I'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, VLC, graphics, accessories. Yeah, everything looks pretty standard for Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, so let's try this browser. Connecting to secured cloud server. And let's just go to, I'll just find that link. It was in my, one of my videos. That seemed to come up quick. So I found the comment. So let's click on the link and go to the website and just see something about it. Uh, so it's compatible with lots of different systems, look, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, Android TV, and Puffin OS. What I've found, the scrolling isn't particularly nice. Uh, I think Raspberry Pi OS is better at scrolling, uh, but it is a very fast feeling operating system so far. Best price performance ratio, Puffin Cloud Learning is 300% faster than Chrome OS devices costing 300% more. Browser benchmarks suggest Puffin is 1,200% faster than Chrome on Raspberry Pi. Seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Chromium versus Puffin on Raspberry Pi. They've got a video, so you can have a look at the video. And then there's speed tests here of various different things. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem to mention anything about it being uh, a paid-for option. I don't know why I got that idea. Um, so let's let's just do some random searches. So... Hot UK deals, enter. So click on that. It does come up quick. So what I think I probably need to do is have two screens next to each other uh, and press the button at the same time. I think that's the only way I'm going to know it. But it yeah it does. So so when we've got pages with lots of images on, it does seem to be loading pretty quick. Right, let's boot up Raspberry Pi OS. Let's have a look to see that they don't overclock it as standard. So let's go to boot and config.txt. Right, definitely nothing's overclocked. I suppose the overclock could help the smooth scrolling of the web browser. That might be better. So what I'm gonna do is test the scrolling so let's get these three pages up. So let's go for just ordinary YouTube home. We've got Hot UK Deals and we've got BBC Home. So let's do a test where we scroll down to the bottom. And to the top again. And I'm going to do the same on Hot UK Deals. Scroll down to the bottom. <laughs> it's jerky. There you go, that's the bottom. And then scroll all the way to the top. Nearly there. And BBC Home, scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh, that was quick. And scroll all the way to the top. It doesn't fill it in very well. Right, so I'm going to reboot with Raspberry Pi OS and see what happens. 
Okay, so I'm in Raspberry Pi OS now, and I want to do sudo nano boot config.txt just to check. Yeah, so this, this is overclocked. Uh, so I need to scroll down to that and delete all this so that we're on an even playing field. So that's stock now, control O, enter, control X to quit. Uh, and let's reboot that. Okay, that's rebooted, so let's start up Chromium. And I'm gonna do the same three pages. So I had YouTube, Hot UK Deals, and BBC. Okay, so what I've done on the other one is these two had loaded up, and then I went to YouTube and I pressed the home. So I wanna try and replicate the same sort of test. These two pages look like they're, they've had time to have loaded up. Let's hit YouTube, uh, and let's hit home. Okay, so now let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Yeah, this is what I mean about the scrolling. It's way nicer on Chromium OS. It's much, much smoother. It's not jerky. Uh, Hot UK deals, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Completely different. So one thing they would have to sort out on, on the other browser is, is smooth scrolling because that's way, way quicker to scroll to the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm going to need to try and set up uh, two screens and see if I can get them side by side and press the button at the same time to search for websites and let's see it does feel quicker I have to give them that and the smooth scrolling is probably just something that that needs a bit of tweaking uh, it is the first time I've seen it but uh, you can see that chromium is definitely much quicker and I think we'll find exactly the same story with Firefox I'm not sure if I've got Firefox on this OS or oh, I have that's handy now I think Firefox is nice and fast uh, for loading pe web pages and definitely feels faster uh, than Chromium on the Pi. And I think it's also nice and smooth as well. So Hot UK Deals and also BBC. So I need to be fair and let them load up. They look like they're loaded up. Hit home. Right, so let's scroll to the bottom. Yeah, lovely smooth scrolling. No issue with that at all. Hot UK deals. Yeah, lovely smooth scrolling. See, it likes to load the page as it goes down. And then BBC Home. Yeah, lovely smooth scrolling. So they need to sort out that scrolling, but let's get two screens side by side and see if we can manage to do pressing the same button at the same time and do a, a speed test. Okay, so I've got a setup where I've got Raspberry Pi OS on the left-hand side on my MacBook. Uh, this is running through my capture device. That's, that's how I've got it to run through a MacBook. I have ordered a uh, Motorola Atrix, uh, the lap dock because I wanted to try that out and I've got one of those coming second hand uh, with the actual phone as well so I want to have a play around with that but in the meantime I haven't got that so I'm gonna to have to use this which isn't ideal because the keyboard I'm using well the keyboard I'm using on the right hand side is this portable keyboard so what I've done is kind of queued up uh, on Google some websites and I'm just gonna click on the links and see if it's quicker so let's go to the first one so first tab which would be my channel so let's get them queued up and let's left click at the same time, one, two, three. Puffin definitely changed first. Well, mine didn't actually change. Oh yeah, wow, that was God, that was very slow. So to be fair, they're, they're, that was hitting the right, uh, the right amount of time for it to be the claims that it is. So let's click on this Mac Buntu video just because it's got a nice bright tile, so click on that. Yeah, definitely quicker with the advert. Oh, I can't turn the volume down like that. Oh, well, it's only a bit of volume. So let's pause and play. That works fine. So let's click on a video in the side here. Let's go for Jeff Geerling's video. 
So we'll go one, two, three, click. Earlier this week as part of my Definitely faster. So let's go for the second tab and left click. So this is going to be Hot UK Deals. And one, two, three, click. Pretty similar. Let's go for the next tab. So BBC News. One, two, three, click. Well, that seemed quicker on the left-hand side that time. And we've also got a different sign-in thing uh, on the right hand side. It's funny some web pages come up differently uh, and it's almost like the Puffin browser is picking uh, a more desktop type browser whereas the Chromium one is doing more of a mobile browser which is a bit weird. So let's click on raspberrypi.org and we'll click on a few links when we're in there. So one, two, three, click. Definitely quicker to Puffin, not by loads but quicker. Let's click on this story with the Lego guy. Yeah, quicker. So now we've got a video. Let's see which one plays the video quicker. And also I'll switch back and have a look at Terran. So let's click this at the same time. Mm, it's actually quicker to Chromium on that, so it, it, it changes. Uh, let's go for some of these things in the bar. So, oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. This is not ideal using two mouse pads at the same time. So let's click on that, design game graphics. Or very similar. And then we'll do this recreating one. I think Chromium had that slightly. So there's not a lot in it, um, but at different times there was. Uh, this always, the Puffin one always seems to pick the uh, full size browser. Right, I'm going to switch back to screen capture uh, because it's better to look at than this. Okay, so I'm back on the uh, Puffin browser on my Raspberry Pi. So just to show that, there you go, there's the desktop. And uh, I've noticed now that, you know, I was, I was moaning a little bit about the scrolling at the start. Uh, if I use my mouse, it actually scrolls a lot better. So I've got a mouse plugged in. Uh, and the reason I noticed this is the little tiny portable keyboard I was using uh, actually seems to work all right as well. So if I scroll up and down, it's less jerky. And I guess you could probably play around with the settings to change that. It's not as good as Chromium for, for scrolling. Uh, and this is my... Logitech keyboard and it just it's a bit it's almost a bit too fast even if I go slow it's kind of jerky and not very nice but actually if I go back to the mouse it's perfectly acceptable so if I go hot UK deals I can scroll down it's not I'd say it's not as smooth as Firefox or Chromium but it's perfectly usable and it is a nice fast browser so I actually like it uh, and uh, I'm pretty impressed so if I go back to this Puffin page I don't know why you have to install Raspbian rather than just install a browser. And I, I don't really get what the, the Puffin cloud learning is uh, apart from it being a browser. So maybe they're just they're going on the thing of, look, this is it's a faster way of doing it. You can have a cheap computer uh, and it's very good to use. But uh, but yeah, it seems strange that you have to install their version of Raspberry Pi OS because everything is is exactly that so display settings help reference preferences yeah everything is just raspberry pi os pretty much with with a different browser so you could start as this as your uh, starting point and then install things from there um, but uh, but i am actually pretty impressed and i'm going to watch this space uh, and see what improvements they come up with i used to use puffin on uh, ios ages ago on my iphone and i think it had flash support uh, back a long time ago and actually worked pretty well so they've they've been in it a long time and uh yeah i will watch this space so i did say how you install it basically all you're doing is clicking on the download file 
Uh, you can see there's an English or a multiple language version. I downloaded the English version. Uh, it was uh, 1.3 gig and uh, you can just, I wrote it with Belena Etcher to my SD card and just booted it up and that worked fine. You can see it's got these options, look, that's nice. Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, local storage. That's something that you don't normally get. And what about settings? What have we got in here? Yeah, so it's got its own. It's a nice polished product. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. Right, so let's go back to YouTube and just have a quick look at things like tearing uh, and just general performance. So if I go to one of my videos, yeah, not bad. Um, there is, there's definitely better on the pie, um, but uh, but overall, I'm pretty impressed. It's uh, it's playing full screen 720, not a problem. But the rest of it is is really good. So you know when you're not playing full screen video, things like the tabs, uh, things like moving around a page, things like clicking on links, it does seem to cope with that very well. So if I click on a sports story, something safe. Yeah, I like it. So thanks very much for the tip and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.